We're gonna whoop that nigga lover to death. And I'm gonna personally strip and clip that garboon myself. Damn. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. We ready or what? Oh, uh, hold on. I'm fucking with my whole... Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, I just made it worse. Who made this goddamn shit? Well, there's wife. You make your own goddamn match. Look, nobody's saying they don't appreciate what Jenny did. Well, if all I had to do was cut a hole in a bag, I could have cut it better than this. What about yeah. you, Robert? Yeah. Can you see? Not too good. I mean, if I don't move my head, I can see you pretty good, more or less. But when I start riding, the bag's moving all over, and I, I'm riding blind. Yeah. I just made mine worse. Anybody bring any extra bags? No, nobody brought an extra bag. I'm just asking. Do we have to wear them when we ride? Oh, well, shit fire! If you don't wear them as you ride up, that just defeats the purpose. Well, I can't see in this fucking thing. I can't breathe in this fucking thing, and I can't ride in this fucking thing. Well, fuck all y'all. I'm going home. You know, I watched my wife work all day getting 30 bags together for you ungrateful sons of bitches, and all I can hear is criticize, criticize, criticize. From now on, don't ask me or mine for nothing. Now look, let's not forget why we're here. We gotta kill a nigga over that hill there. And we gotta make a lesson out of him. Okay, I'm confused. Are the bags on or off? I think we all think the bag was a nice idea. Yeah. yeah. But not pointing the fingers, they could have been done better. So how about no bags this time, but next time we do the bags right, and then we go full regalia. Wait a minute. I didn't say no bags. But nobody can see. So? So it'd be nice to see. God damn it! This is a raid! I can't see, you can't see. So what? All that matters is can the fucking horse see? That's a raid! Django! Django, have you always been alone? Django! Django, have you never loved again? No, we'll live on, oh, life was gone, oh, oh, you cannot spend your life No, you are not calling her, man! After what she did to you! You're a pussy, Adam! You're a selfish piece of shit! Care more about getting yourself fucking laid than being my friend! Hello? Hey, it's Adam. Adam? It's midnight. What, what's going on? Um, it's probably having a nervous breakdown. I think I just uh, fractured my larynx. I'm really, really glad that you called. I just want it to be over. I'm so fucking tired of being sick. You know, if the surgery doesn't work, it's, um, that's it. <laughs> and I've never, you know, I've never been in fucking Canada. I've never told a girl I loved her. It sounds stupid. No, it doesn't.
There's an old joke. Um, two elderly women are at a Catskill Mountain resort, <clears throat> and one of them says, boy, the food at this place is really terrible. The other one says, yeah, I know, and such small portions. Well, that's essentially how I feel about life, full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness, and it's all over much too quickly. The, the other important joke for me is one that's uh, usually attributed to Groucho Marx, but I think it appears originally in Freud's wit and its relation to the unconscious. And it goes like this, I'm paraphrasing. Um, I would never want to belong to any club that would have someone like me for a member. That's the key joke of my adult life in terms of my relationships with women. She probably kidnapped herself. Huh? Oh, what do you mean, dude? Rug Piers did not do this. Look at it. A young trophy wife marries this guy for his money. She figures uh, he isn't giving her enough. You know, she owes money all over town. That oh. Fucking. It's all bitch. goddamn fake, man. It's like Lenin said. You look for the person who will benefit, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, I am the walrus. You know, you'll. Uh, uh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. I am the walrus. Uh, That's Fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. I am the walrus. That's ex Shut the fuck up, Donnie. The I Lenin. Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov. What the fuck is he talking about? Fucking exactly what happened. Those, oh, that yeah. makes me fucking sick. Well, what do you care, Walter? Those rich fucks. This whole fucking thing. I did not watch my buddies die face down in the muck so that this fucking strumpet, this Walter, fucking whore, could walk around Vietnam, man. Well, there's a literal connection. Walter, face that there isn't any connection. Having your way, but my point is, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead, and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said. Boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got. A According to my nav computer. Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Sheriff, this is no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic! I'm lost, Andy is gone. They're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault! My, my fault? If you hadn't pushed me out of the window in the first place... Oh, yeah. Well, if you hadn't shown up your stupid little cardboard spaceship and taken away everything that was important to me... Don't talk to me about importance. Because of you, the security of this entire universe is in jeopardy. What?! What are you talking about? Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with the destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. I alone have information that reveals this weapon's only weakness. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear. You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a child's plaything. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore, who would not let... Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore, a man who stood up against the scum, the cunts, the dogs, the filth, the shit. Here is someone who stood up.